Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and in this video we're going to show you how to tell if you have a gas or electric dryer. This will help you save time and money and allow for a smooth installation in almost all cases. For the first way, you'll need to be able to see clearly behind your dryer. If you have an electric dryer, in almost all cases, you'll need to hook it up to a 240 volt receptacle. This is very different than a standard 120 volt plug. It's noticeably larger and it will have either three or four prongs. If you have a gas dryer, it'll still be plugged into an electric outlet, but it'll be a 120 volt outlet and there'll also be a gas hose attached to the back, which is normally colored yellow. The other way you can check is by finding the information sticker on the inside of your dryer. An electric dryer will say it requires 120 slash 240 volts. A gas dryer will reference what type of gas the unit is compatible with, like natural gas or liquid propane. Lastly, there are normally indicators built into the model number of your dryer that'll help indicate electric versus gas, but it can be a little harder to tell in these cases. An electric dryer will generally have an E somewhere in the model number, and gas will have a G, but this is not always the case. If you're still having a hard time after using these suggestions, please feel free to call, email, or chat online with one of our experts here at the store. There's always exceptions to these rules, and APT is happy to be here to help you figure them out. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.